vlogmas day four i'm getting ready right now and i wanted to try out these new little things that sigma sent over they sent over a bunch blush highlighter contour i need to set my face first because i have crazy oily skin i also put a lighter shade of foundation on and i look really really sick sickly <laughs> question of the day would you rather have an overly pale face or an overly orange face because i don't know i something about having like an overly orange face like scares me like really bad like that terrifies me i don't know why beautiful this is more like bronzer actually this one's contour but i don't know if we're in the mood to contour today there we go brought life to my face i was looking a little bit dead before this blush looks very interesting because it has a lot of sparkles in it. I don't want to do too much. Oh my god. I don't really use blush that much. I don't really like the blush. Ew, wish I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so dramatic. To pick up more highlighter, spray on your setting spray onto the brush. And it picks up more product. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Ow, I just bit my tongue. Fit details, the pants are from Abercrombie and they're amazing because I got the long version so they fit a little bit like baggy in the bottom which I love and they're like a dark brown color and this top is from Aritzia. It's like a baby soft blue. I love like this combo. I think these two colors together are adorable. Fresco! I'm in love with these drinks so much, especially the grapefruit citrus, which is a shocker because I hate grapefruit, but this for some reason doesn't even taste like grapefruit. We're ready now. Time to do a little unboxing. And by little, not really little. <laughs> First, we're gonna start out with these because they're skims and I'm so excited. She did her huge holiday drop which I'm pretty sure was her biggest drop ever, and I was prepared. I wanted so many things from this drop. This was the most money I've ever spent at Skims. I spent an ungodly amount, but I, it needed to be done. This is what I've been most excited about. It's a onesie, a huge fuzzy onesie, and I cannot wait to wear this, especially because I'm a freeze baby and I am like, freezing when I go to bed like freezing if you know the temperature in my house all of you would think I was crazy I literally keep it at 72 degrees maybe 73 degrees yeah it's also funny because this does not look like skims packaging because she did this huge drop the day I had my surgery and not only the day I had my tonsil surgery but like at the same time so I had my sister go on the website and order all these things for me and then she had it shipped to her house and then she shipped it to me these aren't all the items too I think I got two more things that haven't come yet Christmas pajamas and the matching top I am like an old lady and I love wearing real pajamas to bed every single night and I just thought these were perfect for Vlogmas and for December, but not only that, but for literally the whole year. But just right now, it just feels festive. And I had to get this because I just am in love with this color. It is this pretty Pepto-Bismol pink, and it's a onesie. And I will be also wearing, I'm just so excited for all my new sleepwear. This like perfectly matches my house. I should like take a picture in this next to my rug and my Christmas tree and my gingerbread house. <laughs> By the way, if you guys didn't watch yesterday's vlog, look what we made. A freaking life-size gingerbread house. It's insanely big and insanely cool. <gasps> oh my God, this can't be real. Yes, this is not that exciting for you guys. But if you guys wear contacts, you know there's a contact shortage right now. I haven't got contacts in five months and I have been wearing these same contacts for two and a half months. And that's so bad for your eyes. And to make it worse, I do sleep in them, so. <laughs> yeah, I, everyone who wears contacts is literally cringing right now. Yes, I needed these so bad. Amazon, everything good comes from Amazon. It's crazy how much money they make. Like seriously. Oh, wait. I saw a girl on TikTok show this and say it is the best thing for pictures in the dark because it's better than flash. 
I was thinking this would be an amazing attachment for my camera when I vlog at night because it's always like the worst lighting. My camera doesn't have flash. So attach it. I'm so excited. I'm going to need to try this tonight. I love when packages have this. Oh, that was not satisfying. Ah, that ruined it. <gasps> this is my Pira. You guys, if you watched Vlogmas day one, you would know why I need another Pira. <gasps> no, the holiday one didn't come. F. Ooh, these smell really good. I got a new Pura device. So now I have two and I'm really excited about it. This apparently is their number one top selling scent, the Capri Blue Volcano. And I just like, I have no idea what it smells like because you're buying it online, right? This smells amazing. I don't, I'm so bad at describing scents, but like I want to say it's fruity, but not in like a, ew, I don't want to smell that because it's just so sweet. It's good. That concludes the little haul. I'm gonna go put this in my house and make it smell really good. We're walking into Target right now because I need to grab some like random stuff, but then also I wanna do some DIYs that I've been seeing some places and I need to grab some little baby houses and some little baby trees. And I think they have them here. So let's go find out. Okay. These trees are actually kind of perfect. I was just kind of hoping if they had like a pink version, but I feel like it's fine. Oh, we found pink. I mean, it's a little obnoxious, but I kind of think it might work. The only thing is like they're kind of big, but it might work. I'm encountering a little bit of an issue. None of them are like cute colors. I saw a girl on TikTok find cute ones at Target, but I can only find these. So I'm like, should I spray paint them? They're cute. I don't know what to do. We might have to spray paint. Here's the issue. I originally wanted to do like a pastel color scheme wreath, like my house, but these are the only ones I could find and they're like super, I don't know, just not the vibe that I was going for, but I don't know, we might have to change it and just make it a red and green theme, I don't know. I could spray paint them, but that seems like a lot of work right now. <laughs> these sound so good right now. And I'm kind of nervous to try to eat them with my tonsils, but I really want them. Yo! I found a cure. And here's the cure. I'm painting them, and I feel like the red showing, the red and the pink is cute. I can deal with that. But this was just like, I like this Christmas vibe, obviously, because like red and green is Christmas. But that's just like, wasn't the vibe I was going for. So I'm literally painting the windows. I found these at Target and I was like, oh my god, how cute would they be to spray paint them all the same color? This might not look cute. It looks like throw up. I got the textured spray paint, which I've used before, but I don't know about that. Putting a new craft. This is basically like popcorn huge garland. popcorn on a string garland. She saw it on TikTok and really wanted to do it. And then she said to give it to me. I don't really know why. It kind of goes with your big, fun, whimsical Christmas decor, I felt like. Yeah, big DIYers over here. Oh my god. I will be fixing these with this paint. I'm gonna put this paint over it and then it'll just work out. Trust the process. We have a major fail alert. No, well, we're waiting. Tell we needed my dad to like drill holes in the ornaments to put on a string. Mm -hmm. And us being just girly girls, we don't know how to use a drill and like, well, Put it into the plastic. You know the drill bit. I don't know how to change the drill bit. Okay, so I actually don't even know if I explained what DIY little craft I'm doing. We're gonna be making a wreath, but not just a regular wreath. This one is a dupe of the anthropology wreath that's like really expensive, but like really cute. We're gonna like recreate it. Here's how the little house has turned out after I painted some stuff pink. I think they actually look really cute. And then, then I got some trees from Michaels and actually took paint and painted them. You guys, we figured out a great technique. These were normal colored. Make it on a little bit pink and I think it looks better than if I were to get even like pink trees because that would be too obnoxious. This is like a perfect mix. Do you wanna do them all pink? Maybe a yellow one? I was one, thinking, or? not yellow, but mint maybe. And we're ready to go. And now we're just gonna like hot glue everything on here. And I frosted, um, like you know that like snow wow. that you can spray it flop, yeah. A little bit on the wreath. Also, we might try to put this stuff in there. We're gonna make it look really cute. I'm excited. It's like whimsical and fun. I've been playing around with the positionings of everything and I think I have it perfectly laid out and it's really freaking cute. So now I'm gonna go in and just like literally hot glue the back of it all and 
really give it a good hot glue because I do not want this to fall off. The only weird thing is like, how do you hot glue this? Just a little bit on the Maybe spot. Maybe on the bottom. Yep, and then just fold it for a second. The snow underneath the house is really cute. If you have any embellishments, such as rhinestones, <laughs> pull them out of your drawer and stick them on. My mom was begging. I <laughs> wanted like, your voiceover. She's like, tell them, tell them to use their diamonds as embellishments. Stick it somewhere. Oh god, that I'm in will such see a it. weird mood right now. <gasps> oh god, uh, that's not gonna. Stay I fair. gotta come here. Okay, here's your next one. Uh, <laughs> it's up. Oh my god. Take it with your finger. Yeah, you Dude. did. Because they're sharp tweezers. Oh. I feel like a second grader after they finished their art you, project in school. Uh, Honestly, I might think this is cuter than the original. I kind of like it better than the original. It's so cute. And I made it myself. The glisten. You see the glistening. Oh, yes. All right. Back to the popcorn project. Yes. How cute are these balls we're gonna be using? Here is how the little popcorn balls turned out. They look pretty good. We just cut off the straws on both sides. Don't use black straws like we did on some of them. Use clear ones. I thought. Oh my god! So, just so you guys know, you cannot use these ones, only plastic ones. Number one. It'd be cool if you could. This is just so funny because this is just not going good. Okay. Hell yeah, you guys. <laughs> It, it did. It really and did. Yeah. Wait, I'm gonna get closer. Yeah. Popcorn. 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 <laughs> popcorn. What is that? Popcorn. Popcorn. What? Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like if we would have made it double the length, it would have been even better. But this is one can of that spray stuff. <laughs> like it doesn't last that long. So. <gasps> At least the camera's on. Laura, you got that, right? Please tell me you got it. I did, but there was a lot of problems with this craft project. How the hell did we put together a gingerbread house? I don't know, no just pick way. it up and throw it away and be done. I'm not just, doing it again, I'm not doing it again. I'm over it. We just finished it and it fucking That was a craft gone bad. Okay, that's really sad. I'm like, let's, let's try to make this work. I'm over it, like, no. I'm home now, and this is the moment of truth. I've been so excited to test this out tonight. This is the light that I was unboxing earlier in this vlog. I'm gonna try it with, obviously, light on. Okay, we can go brighter. That is very bright. Oh my God, it's making me look greasy. And you can change the modes. I like this one the best, though. Let's go in a dark room. So this is like a pitch black room right now. It's pretty freaking good. Wait, I'm gonna bring this with me everywhere I go outside. Dang, this is actually so cool. And then like, you can even, look at, and that looks more normal. Wait, this is awesome. This is awesome. I'm gonna link it in my Amazon storefront. And now you guys for the big reveal. <gasps> it's so cute. Hello. You guys, I'm like obsessed with this light. It's so cool. Oh, we're cozy now. I just changed into the new Grey Cloud collection, the holiday collection. Dude, I'm so hyped about this. This is probably my favorite material and like weight of fabric that we've used ever. I'm in the white on white right now. The back says, hug me until I smell like you in puff print. So this is our cloud material, which is our heavyweight material. But if you guys have the first desert collection, it's actually a different material than that. The desert collection was amazing, but personally, I felt like it was too stiff. And I actually got some like people also saying the same thing. And I really like to take into account what the actual customer's feedback is because they're the ones buying the products. But yeah, this is just the best material because it's like 
it's thick, but it's not too thick to where it's like stiff and you feel like you can't really like move around in it. I don't know, I'm in love. Um, so it has puff print right here, that's the logo. A little baby cloud in puff print. And then the back is puff print as well. And we got the pants on and the socks. They come in two colors, this white, which is called frosted, and then a dark green that's gonna be called evergreen. I am so hyped about them. I wish I could wear the evergreen one, but I gave the only two green colors I had to the models that were helping me model this collection, so <laughs> I have to wait for the warehouse to send me more, which is going to be in like a week. It's going live December 8th at 12 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and it'll come in time for Christmas, which is like perfect. Like It's going to come in clutch. You guys need to go get yourself this for Christmas, your mom this for Christmas, your daughter this for Christmas, your best friend for this for Christmas, and you won't regret it. So, oh. Also, I got a tree skirt. Look how cute it is. It's definitely too big, but we're not complaining because it was free. <laughs> She's obsessed with this thing, you guys, and she just sits there like this and just gnaws on it. It's so funny. Look at how cute my wrapping paper is this year. I just got done wrapping all of these and it's insane. If you guys are looking for the cutest wrapping paper ever, go on Etsy. They have millions of cool designs and... I'm obsessed. I will forever be buying my wrapping paper from Etsy. Oh, these are so big, they like don't fit that well underneath my tree. I have these little trees and it says who they go to on it and it's so cute. Also, this is so funny. I found this wrapping paper on Etsy and I'm, I'm using this for my dad. Cause it's like, me it's like big men wrapped in lights. It's so what? Like, it's so weird. But I thought he might get a chuckle out of that. <gasps> cute! Oh my gosh, shorty. They're so cute, just like you. And look how cute that these little nutcrackers turned out. Cute, right? I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys love this vlog. I thought it was like really, that was in such a like giggly mood today. <laughs> I hope you guys have been loving Vlogmas. I feel like I have been like loving just talking. I feel like all I want to do is talk now. I was like, for like two weeks I couldn't because of my surgery. And so now I just want to talk, you know? So let me know if you like longer vlogs because I feel like they've been pretty long lately. If you guys are still watching right now, comment the snowflake emoji. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.